Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered which animals make the best architects? A single termite mound can stand at 7.5 metres tall, which size for size is like us building a skyscraper that reaches 1.4 kilometres high. But the most amazing thing about these structures is their built-in air conditioning system. Termites can be very fussy about living in a constant temperature because some species cultivate fungal gardens for food and this fungus grows best at 30 degrees Celsius. So termites use passive cooling to maintain the temperature. Cold air blows in through vents at the base of the structure, replacing the hot air in the main chamber beneath the ground. The termites constantly open and close these vents to control the temperature, and they're so good at it, the mound fluctuates between 29 and 31 degrees Celsius. Animals are able to build using a variety of construction materials. Termites mainly use soil, saliva, chewed wood and faeces. The long-tailed tit, on the other hand, only ever uses nature's finest textiles. This is a long-tailed tit's nest. It's completely enclosed apart from the small entrance at the front just here. Think of it like Mother Nature's own Fabergé egg. A typical nest has about 6,000 components, including feathers, moss, lichen, and its most important constituent, the gossamer silk from a spider egg cocoon. It's thought that the little leaves of the moss act like hooks and then the gossamer silk provides the loops so this can all mesh together like a giant velcro assembly. Each bit of lichen breaks up the outline providing camouflage and then inside is like a downy pillow. Over 2,000 feathers can be used to help insulate this nest. Of course, not all structures need be so complicated. Chris went to see one creature in the US with a basic yet elegant solution for building a home. This is a desert sand scorpion. Although it might not look like much, the home that this thing builds is quite something. It puts so much effort in that it actually will shift from a hundred up to maybe a thousand times its own weight in sand just to create this home. And the thing it creates is a work of art. It spirals down from the surface about 40 centimetres down. And at the bottom it has a burrow which it calls its home. Now it builds in a spiral for three reasons. Firstly, because actually it's a good form of predator avoidance. If a predator finds a hole where it suspects that there'll be some food, it's gonna be quite hard to find the bottom of a spiral. Secondly, it's to escape the heat. The heat in the summer in the desert can be intolerable, up to 75 degrees centigrade at the surface. And what the spiral does is it shifts the hot air out from the hole, meaning that it's much cooler down below. It's still warm, but it's a tolerable heat. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly for a desert animal, is moisture retention. Sand retains moisture. So by going deep, it's a much more moist environment, it's cooler, and it's a safe place for this incredible little creature. But surely nature's greatest engineer has to be the beaver. They're capable of completely reshaping their surroundings by forming huge dams and flooding an area. The largest dam ever discovered was 850 metres wide. The pond they create forms a moat around the lodge, providing them vital protection from predators, and they frequently replaster the lodge with mud, giving them extra insulation. These master builders are made for the job. Their teeth are self-sharpening and reinforced with iron compounds. Their nostrils and ears are completely closable to stop water getting in, and they even have a clear eye membrane, which acts like a pair of goggles. Don't forget to subscribe for more animal facts. See you next time on Earth Unplugged. What they've done is they've adapted their lifestyle to be nocturnal and be only active at night and also to burrow during the day. That way they have somewhere cool, underground that's not going to be exposed to the sun to spend the hot hours of the day.